but hindi ko narin- narinig yung recording in progress. <laughs> no, wala. Okay. Nagbago kasi yung ano, nag-update kasi yung ano, yung aking uh, Zoom uh, <clears throat> purchase. Ayan, kaya parang naninibago ko sa ano, set- settings niya kasi supposedly dapat hindi ko na kayo na-admit kanina para pumasok o dapat ano na eh, pwede na kayong mag- pumasok ng hindi ko na ina-admit, no? So, uh, yun lang naman ang konting pagbabago sa ating uh, Zoom at saka hindi ako pwede makapaglagay ng profile picture unlike before kasi nakikita ko yung mga pictures ninyo, no? Kahit hindi kayo mag- o- mag-open ng camera nyo, nakikita ko yung mga pictures ninyo. Pero ngayon kasi hindi, oh, hindi ko siya ma- hindi ko siya malagyan ng profile picture. Uh, same thing din kayo, no? Hindi kayo makapaglagay ng profile picture. Anyway, so... Uh, Ayun, yun na nga. Ayan. So, welcome back again sa ating lecture ng ating Kukiri NC2. No? So, uh, quite uh, long yung ating discussion for today's video. <laughs> for tonight. Ayan, kasi uh, we will recap no, the, the lapses that we, uh, that we uh, happened no, in the last uh, session natin from Saturday yata yun until uh, yesterday. No? So, marami nagtatanong ba't wala daw tayong klase. So, Actually, inform ko naman ng lahat before before na mawalan tayo ng klase, no? So, a week before pa, sinabi ko na schedule natin. So, uh, salamat sa nag-response sa mga classmate nyo at kung bakit wala po ako. Ayan. So, by the way, so salamat sa support ninyo dahil sa uh, uh, kahit pa paano, eh, nag-log in, log out lang tayo sa ating BSRS, no? Uh, nakikita ko yung mga tao talagang, uh, alam nyo yun, uh, tawag nito mag uh, maglogin no sa kailang BSRS and sa ating mga nakikinig sa ating recorded li- uh, recorded video ayan so don't forget always to log in your uh, actually log in na nga lang ang, ang pinapagawa sa inyo ng Tesla actually syempre ako na magpapagawa sa inyo noon you log out you don't need to do it na no uh, let me be the one uh, to log out everyone no uh, if, uh, if if uh, step no during 2 pm and uh, the TWSB during the 9 pm no so ako na lang maglalagaw sa inyo pero yung log in you try your very best no to log in kasi kapag nag-override ako uh, ng uh, ng BSRS ninyo no for example nag kahit na nag-log in kayo let's say nag-log in kayo na 6:30 am tapos parang hindi approved or waiting for verification okay na yon no So at least uh, you try no to open the BSRS kasi pag hindi niyo na try yung BSRS kung kailan ko siya i-check for example nag-check ako ng alas 9 no tapos marami pa lang hindi nakapag-log in so ilalog in ko pa yung login time niyo hindi na 7 AM kundi 9 na kasi nga hindi kayo nakapag-log in ng tama sa oras so uh, may napapansin na ako dito na hindi na talaga nag-log in no Uh, at kailangan ko talagang nag kayo kasi at least magkaroon man lang ng uh, marka yung inyong BSRS. At the same time, ang second announcement ko is uh, yung ating new LMS. No? Ilan lang sa inyong nag-access sa ating new LMS at sumasagot no? ng ating new LMS natin. No? Uh, Hahawakan yan until kahit nag-face-to-face tayo, magagamit yung ating new LMS para balikan yung notes natin no uh, sa ito sa ating kukiri LC ito natin okay so yun lang naman and uh, meron pa daw tayong isang isa jante no na hindi pa daw nag-fill up ng ng voucher eh hindi ko na matandaan kung sino yung ano kung sino yung uh, isang tao na yun no ayan so yung akin hindi ko na lang okay na po yan ma'am Fatima sabi ko ako na lang po mag-log out pa lang konti na natin nasa na yung iba Pakichat nga sa mga GC natin yung iba yung classmate na ano na wala namang ginagawa. <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi <laughs> natin alam no kung ano yung mga ginagawa. Anyway, so uh, yun lang naman ang konting mga announcement natin. And tomorrow we don't have class again and then we will resume on Monday ayan sa ating class. Kaya medyo marami yung gagawin natin or lectures for today. Okay, or for tonight. Okay, so let me share my screen. Ayan, so mag advance lang ako. Yung uh, as I promise no sa inyo no yung ating herbs and spice no. So we will now proceed to our ayan. So nandito na ulit ako sa baba. <laughs> okay, so uh, herbs and spice. So what are these herbs? What are these spices? Okay? Kasi uh, importante na dapat alam natin yung ating herbs and spice kasi ito yung magpapalasa. Okay, lalo or nang lubusan sa ating mga Uh, pagkain na ginagamit or niluluto natin no 
So let's let us first define what is herb. Okay, you pronounce it herb, not herbs, not herbs. Okay, not herbs, not herbs. Okay, it should be herb. Okay, so herb and spice. Okay, so yun yung ano yung ating uh, uh, pronunciation ng ating herb natin. Okay, so uh, what are these herbs? Okay, herb. Okay, e either leaves, stems, or flowers of an aromatic plant. Okay, whether it is a fresh or a dried one. Okay, dried herbs are stronger than fresh. Okay, so sabi dito, dried herbs are stronger than fresh. When using dry herbs, no, to make it strong in taste or effectivity, you need to crumble or crush them. Okay, to release the flavor. Use two to three times more fresh than dried. Okay, even if sinabi nila na stronger daw yung taste ng ating mga herbs, no, kailangan less lang daw yung paggamit natin ng mga dry herbs, no? Okay, kasi nga, dry yan eh. So, it can, ano, it can contribute to the blocking or choking, no, ng pagkain. At magkikakaroon ng mga unwanted, ano, unwanted uh, shoe effect, okay, sa ating, uh, sa ating pagkain kapag uh, madalas gumagamit tayo ng dry no so some, so sabi dito mas mas maganda daw na gumamit ng fresh compare sa compare sa dry okay next add fresh herbs okay at the end of cooking so lagay lalagay doon natin yung ating herb no at the last or the end of the cooking the cooking na process natin okay now let's let's define what is this spice okay or spices Okay, spice or spices. Okay, these are bark, roots, at ayan, buds or berries of an aromatic plant. Okay, and dumadamadami yung pangapasok, no? Okay, usually dried or ground or cool, no? Ayan yung ating mga spices natin. It might be fresh or like, like, like ginger. Or store, uh, and of course, the storage process natin, no? store in, in tightly covered containers in cool, dry places. Kasi bakit pag, pag medyo mainit, no? usually nalagay natin yung herbs and spice, usually sa taas ng ating cabinet. No? So, ano siya, uh, makaka-apekto siya sa ating herbs and spice, magkakapag-create siya ng moisture, no? moisture sa ating uh, herbs and spice na nasa bote, at madaling masasira yung ating herbs and spice. So, uh, ang buhay doon natin ilagay sa humid, no? Or medyo ma-init na temperature yung ating herbs and spice. Unless gagamitin mo lahat. Okay, now let's proceed to the different pictures, no? Ng ating herbs and spice natin. Okay, the first one is the basil. Okay, wait lang ha. So, may binuksan ko lang yung pinto. Okay, basil. Okay, so basil is used for Italian cooking. Okay, so the other, the French word for basil is basilico. Ayan, so yan yung uh, ginagamit natin. Basil is pari sa paggawa na, uh, sa pasta. Ayan, like pesto. No? Paggawa ng tomato sauce. Okay, at ng marinara. We use the fresh basil. Next natin is bay. Okay, ito yung laurel sa Tagalog, but the English is bay. Okay, so it is used for soup, stews, kagaya na lagyan sa adobo at minudo, no? Bigla daw, bigla pong nag-brown out, sir, nawala po ang wifi, hala. Hala nangyari sa inyo, <laughs> nawala daw yung wifi, eh, nawala daw yung brown out. So sige, okay na yan. Ano na lang, i-review nyo na lang later, no? Malilit lang daw po si Gina na sa biyay pa daw po siya. Wala po siya nito. Okay, sige Chris. Uh, telan. Sige, go. Okay, so use the, uh, use the whole leaf pot. Okay, when you are serving the food, remove the bay leaf or the laurel. Okay, wag niyong siyang isama sa presentation niyo ng pagkain niyo kasi pwede siyang makapag-cost. For example, kinain ng tao, no? Ay, alam niyo naman, hindi naman, hindi naman yung mga tao, madalas hindi naman nila alam yung mga pinaglalagay natin sa pagkain. Ang ginawa ng tao, kinain. 
no? Pag kinain kasi yung bay leaf na yan, matigas yan. It's like a sharp uh, paper, no? Na pwedeng makasugat sa lalamunan natin. That's why uh, kailangan siyang i-remove, no? Before serving the food. Next, we go tayo with the shites. Okay? Ito yung onion shites na nabibili or dahon. Okay? O sibuyas na mura. Kaya sa ako, kilala ako. Kung kilala ko ang shites bilang sibuyas na mura. No? Sa iba naman, dahon ang tawag nila dyan. Okay? So, shites are, can be used for potatoes, garnishes, seafood, and soups. Ayan, may encounter niya sa ating kusina. Next, we have here the cilantro. Okay, cilantro is used for Mexican food, Thai food sauces like salsa. Okay, so uh, the Tagalog term for cilantro is wansui. Ayan, so pag mungibili kayo sa palengke, no, wansui ang tawag dyan. Yan yung medyo mapa, hindi ko alam po anong tawag, malabumbay yung amoy niyan kasi matapang yan compared with the parsley. Pero magka, magkamukha sila ng itsura ng Italian parsley. No? Pero ito kasi napaka-distinctive ng amoy niya. Okay, distinctive ang kanyang amoy. Compare doon sa ano, compare doon sa parsley na ginagamit natin. Next, we go tayo with dill. Ayan, ang aming favorite na herb. Okay, na ginagamit namin sa competition or sa pag uh, pagsoup. Ayan. So, ginagamit namin siya sa fish, potatoes, pickles, dips, carrots, and bread. Ayan, you will encounter this herbs and spice during your actual sa atin. No? Mapapa, ipapakilala ko sa inyo yung ating mga herbs and spice. Okay, next we have here the lemongrass. Ayan, so it is used for chicken and seafood. Ayan, ang, ang Tagalog ng lemongrass is tanglad. Next, we go tayo with the mint. Ayan, mint is usually used for desserts. Okay, then we have here uh, the oregano. Okay, oregano is used for uh, Italian food, Mexican food, and pizza or spaghetti. Ang ang oregano ng ginagamit po natin sa pagluluto ay hindi po yung balbon na ano na oregano kasi dalawa kasing klase ng oregano, isang herbal oregano at saka isang ginagamit sa pagkain. Etong oregano to is like the same with basil, no, na ma, na, ma, na walang buhok or walang balahibo yung paligid. Okay, compared with the medical oregano na no? makapal ang ano, makapal ang kanyang uh, dahon at uh, parang balbon yung kanyang stem. So, hindi po yun yung ginagamit natin sa pagkain, no? Uh, kaya hindi po yun ang ginagamit natin sa pagkain. Yung tatatoong oregano. Yung spaling nialagay itong oregano, ako na-encounter ko ito, no? Nialagay nila sa itong paksiyo. Ayan. So, nialagay nila yung oregano na yan. Okay. Next natin is parsley. Ayan. So, wala lang yung ginagamit yung parsley at madalas yung makikita sa kusina, no? Yung curled parsley at yung Italian plain parsley. Yung nakikita nyo yan. So, curl parsley and Italian plain parsley. They are the same in uh, taste. Okay? They are the same in taste and they are the same in uh, effects no sa pagkain natin. Kasi they are used sometimes as a garnish okay uh, to our food. Okay, next then we had is the rosemary. Ayan, rosemary is used for chicken, seafood, mushroom, and vegetables, no? Uh, we use that we use that one in the in the competition or in the JS. Makikita niyo yan sa ating uh, herbs and spice. Sage or sambong. Ayan, used for twerk, uh, pork, turkey and stuffing mushrooms. Stuffings and mushroom dishes. Dishes. And then we have here the tarragon. Ayan, tarragon is uh, used for chicken, eggs, mushroom and seafood. And then we have here the thyme. Okay, used for meat, poultry, mushrooms, nuts, and potato dishes. Yan ginagamit natin yung time. And we have here the allspice. Okay, allspice a combination of the, the taste no? and the aroma is the combination of uh, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, pickling, and stews. Okay, ah, no, 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 no. Nutmeg, cloves, and cinnamon, it is used for pickling, stews, and baking. Ayan. So, pwede natin gamitin yung allspice na yan. Okay, next. Caraway. Okay, so caraway is used for apple, pork, sausage, rye, eh, rye bread. Okay, so yan yung caraway natin. Hindi ko alam kung na-encounter nyo na yung caraway. Ito po yung uh, use ba nilalagay sa ibabaw ng sapin-sapin na nagpuhulay gwerde kapag nilalagay po siya sa sapin-sapin. Para siyang big. Itsura niya, kulay niya bigas. Ay parang para siyang bigas, no, 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 uh, parang gano'n yung ano, gano'n yung uh, itsura niya, no? 
Pero pag nilagay mo siya sa ano, may lasang mint or lasang lasang dahon some some part, no? That is caraway. And we have here the cayenne. Ayan. So small but ter 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 uh, terrible, no? Uh, it's quite spicy. Okay? Uh, not uh, 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 in the, uh, ano, aside from chili, no? Ay manghang din tong cayenne pepper na to. Okay? Any food but uh, can add lots of heat kasi nga manghang nga siya. Okay? And we have here the chili powder. Okay? Chili powder is a blend of cumin, garlic, onion, gar and chili. Okay, to create a Tex-Mex barbecue. Ayan. So, ginagamit natin ang chili powder. And at the same time, at the same time, it gives color, no? Reddish color to our dish. Next that we had is the cloves. Ito yung immature flower buds ng bawang, no? Uh, ginagamit natin. So, uh, for, I mean, ginagamit natin. And bihira lang kayo makakita niya sa, ano, sa kusina kasi nga, rare kasi yung spice na to, no? Uh, it's used for meats, stock sauces, and baking. Anis, ah, yes, tama, ma'am Fe. Yung caraway is anis. Ayan. Next, we have here the coriander. Okay, coriander are the cilantro seeds. Okay, variety of cooking used in the savory and baked foods. Next, we have here the cumin. Okay, uh, cumin seeds used for, uh, used crushed or Mexican foods and chili. Ayan. Pero hindi siya manghang, ha? Mga chili dishes. Ito sa cumin. Okay. Ano siya? Okay siya pag ano, kapag medyo related to uh, Eastern, Eastern food. O, oh, tama, Eastern food. Like, ay, mga Western food. Like, yung mga uh, Arabic, ayan, mga Indian, okay, food. But you can use the cumin. Kasi dyan medyo relate yung ating curry powder is malaking factor dyan is yung cumin natin. And we have here the ginger. Ayan. So, used for baking and Asian foods. Especially sa mga pagkain natin. And we have here the nutmeg. Okay. Seed kernel inside of fruit. Okay. Used for baking cheese, eggs, and Alfredo. Okay. That's the base of Alfredo. No? And we have here the paprika. Okay. Paprika is finely ground powder from dried pepper garnish uh, used for garnish no salads sausage and casseroles okay yan yung usage ng paprika no pero hindi siya maanghang okay but it give red color no uh, actually ang paprika is dried bell pepper okay dried bell pepper yan po yung paprika so hindi siya maanghang but it gives color then we have here the pepper corn or pamintang buo Okay, ang inglés ng pamintang buo is peppercorn. Okay, dried and ripe berry, most common are black pepper used in the most food. And we have here the poppy seed, okay, from poppy flower used for baking salad dressings. So, hindi natin masyado ginagamit yung spice dahil medyo napaka-rare no, ng, ng spice na to. And last one is the saffron. Okay, itong saffron na to are very distinctive at napakamahal nito. Ang isang uh, point, uh, uh, parang one gram or five grams ng saffron, no, it can cost you a hundred pesos to uh, a thousand peso. No? Depende sa klase ng nag-harvest ng saffron. No? But uh, we have that local saffron, yung ginagamit natin sa lugaw, yung kasuba. Okay, yung, that's the local saffron. No? Pero uh, when you use the literally uh, saffron flower, or yun yung nakikita nyo yung kulay, ano, kulay ito, 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 tinuturo. Hindi ko lang kung nakikita nyo ba tinuturo ko, no? Itong, di ba, yung purple. Tapos may orange na, na tatlo. Tapos yung parang merong reddish or red na nakausle. So that is the saffron. Yun yung, yun yung ginagamit. Okay? The most expensive spice in the world used for Mediterranean or Asian foods. Okay? Tangil daw po ng link na attendance. Kakapasok ko lang kasi Zoom. Wala sa history ng chat eh. Sabi ni Paula. Saan nyo daw yung attendance class? Ayan po. Ayan po yung attendance. Okay, next we have here the, of course, the sesame seed. Okay, found in the pod of the tropical plant used for baking tahini paste. Okay, Asian, uh, Asian fish dishes. Ayan. So yan yung ating sesame sesame seeds. 
Okay, next we go tayo with uh, so those are different herbs and spice. No, marami pa yan pero ito lang yung basic no na herbs and spice na madalas nyo makikita no sa ating kusina. Okay, so stop ko lang yung ating pag-share at i-share ko yung ay, may, na, may naalala na ako. May naalala na ako. Naalala ko yung ano, yung topic nating soup. Tige, tuloy natin yung yung topic nating soup. Okay, so we have here the stocks, no? So we define the stocks na no in a previous uh, topic natin we define the stock stock is the base of any soup or sauces that we made no sa ating uh, uh, culinary terms natin no pag sinabi mong uh, uh, gagawa ka ng sauce like velouté okay so ang base mo dapat is a white stock which is later you know we will discuss Okay, so we will proceed. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. And we're, I think we're done with this. Okay, we're done with this. Okay, water, aromatic. Ayan, yung aromatic spices natin, no? yung sachet de peas and bouquet garni. No? Pag sinabi natin sachet de peas, this is a bag of spices. Ano yung mga spices na? For example, cloves, uh, peppercorn, ayan, so ginger, yan yung mga spices na pwede mong ilagay sa cheesecloth at palutin siya like a bag. Kaya tinatawag siyang sa shade peas or bag of spices. And we have here the bouquet garni. Okay, so bouquet garni is a fresh herbs. Ano yung mga fresh herbs natin? Pwede ka maglagay dyan ng parsley, cilantro, thyme, rosemary. Yan, yung mga fresh herbs na yan. Okay, na pwede mong italien, na talien, kaya nga siya bouquet, talien, at ilubog sa ating stocks. Siyempre, pag, pag magsaserve na tayo ng ating stocks natin, tatanggalin na natin yung ating bouquet garni or sachet de peas para hindi siya makasagabal no, sa pag-prepare ng ating pagkain. Okay, next we have here the, yeah, the time frame no, in creating the stock. Ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo na nakaraan, but this one is, uh, ay sorry, <laughs> hindi ko makadvisit. Kala ko yung admit ko na si Talan. Okay? So, brown stock is uh, can cook for about 4 to 6 hours. The white stock is 2 to 4 hours. And the fish stock is used for 30, I mean, uh, cook for 30 minutes. No? Okay? Then we have here the key terms of stock. Okay? Stock is the foundation of soup. Sauces, a flavor for liquid made from the gentle simmering of bones plus vegetable. In a water to extract the flavor, aroma, color, body, and nutrients. Demi glass is a stock used for reduce of half, okay, of its original volume. Then you will get the demi glass. And we have the glass is, is the sauce reduced for about quarter of its original volume. So one fourth lang dapat yung matitran you will get you will get the the glaze or the glass. Then we have here the fume. Okay, it's a highly, highly flavored stock made from fish bones or yung shrimp head. Yung ginagamit sa sabaw ng ulo, ah, sabaw ng ulo ng hipon, sabaw ng ulo, sabaw ng, <laughs> sabaw ng ulo ng hipon, no, at mga bones, ulo ng, uh, ulo ng uh, isda, like salmon, no. Uh, pag na-create mo yung sabaw na yun, ang tawag doon is fume. And then we have here the second use stock. Uh, yes, second use uh, stock ingredients or elements we have here the remoulade. Okay, a stock made from bones that have been already used in another preparation and it can replace the water as the liquid in the stock making. Then we have here the step in preparing stock. So you need to wash the bones, blanch or brown the bones. Okay, uh, cut the mirepoix in the appropriate sizes. No, Siyempre, kapag longer yung pagpapakuluma ng stock, bigger dapat yung vegetable na gagamitin mo. No? And we have here, you start with the cold water because cold water no, dissolves the nutrients. Okay? And we have here the, ano, the, the, the portioning. No? 100% is the water, 50%, 50 is the bones, and 25% if, uh, if, uh, is the mirepoix and the sachet, the sachet bag, which is the sachet de piece and bouquet garni. Okay, so how this uh, ratio, no? how this ratio happened? Pag sinabi natin 100% water, if you are uh, boiling or you when you are you want to get a 1 uh, liter, so ang target natin is 1 liter of stock and we are preparing a chicken stock, no? 
So pag 1 liter yan, so pag sinabi natin glaze, okay, you reduce into half. So kailangan mag-create ka ng 2 liters ng water to get the 1 liter. Kasi mag-reduce ka into half, di ba? Para makuha mo yung demi-glass. So kailangan, pag nag-reduce mo ng half, at ang, at ang kailangan mo is 100, uh, I mean 100, uh, 1 liter or 1,000 milliliter. So uh, kailangan 200 ml yung ano 200 2, 2 liters sorry 2 ha, 2 liters no 2 liters or 2000 milliliters ang water mo and then 50% of that should be bones so kung 100 kung, kung 100 ang bones let's say you had a uh, i mean 100 ang water so 2 liters of water okay and then almost 1 kilo of bones ang kailangan mo okay for a 2 liters of water and the the 50 grams of it no the 50 grams of it will be the vegetable so when you are weighing or when you are when you are preparing a ratio no of a, a stock for about a 1 liter so you need to have a 2 liters of water 1 kilogram of bones and 500 grams of vegetable which is the the, the vegetable are divided into mirepoix no? So you are now uh, dividing the 500 into 25, 25, 50. So if it means that you need to prepare 125 grams, sample lang sinasabi ko, ah, 125 grams of celery, 125 grams of carrot, and 250 grams of onion in order for you to create a one liter of stock. No? So sana na, na sana na susundan niyo yung ganung ko computation kasi that is the right uh, uh, the right measurement no? in uh, creating a flavorful stock. Naku, yeah, admit ko ulit si, ano, si Princess. Nalalaglag si Princess. Okay, so yun yun. Yun yung, uh, yun yung uh, measurement. No, no? So para, sana at least na, na, ano nyo, na, na, na kukuha nyo yung ganong... Bakit naka ano? Oh, ayan. Okay, sana nakukuha nyo yung ano, Sir Dean. Dean sorry, na-disconnect po. Ah, okay, Alex. Okay, so ganun yung measurement ng ating stock. Okay, and bring the stock pot, okay, to uh, to just under boil, okay, to keep the stock from simmering for the required time. So, hindi mo dapat malakas at hindi dapat mahina apoy. It should be medium heat. Okay, so when you are having a, uh, uh, no, uh, sa stove, no, it should be like, diba, kung ito yung, ito yung high, ito yung low, dapat andito lang siya. Nagets niyo, nagets niyo yung uh, yung apoy niya. So that's how it goes. Okay, next, in finishing of stock, okay? Uh, as a stock is simmer, okay? It must be skim. Ito yung tatanggalin natin yung mga impurities o yung mga uh, uh, bubbles, bubbles na sa ibabaw at yung mga parang buo-buong dugo, no? Na uh, na, na, na lumiibabaw, no? Habang pinapapuluan natin yung ating stock. Okay, removing the scum that, that forms on the surface to maintain the clarity and the flavor of the stock. After the stock has been simmered, the stock must be strained. Okay, the bones and the mirepoix uh, and be used on a second time to make the second, uh, to make a stock or strengthen a weak uh, stock. This is called the remolage. Yun yung process niya, no? And then we have here the next one is how to cool the stock. As you can see in the picture, no, you had here the pot, the stock pot, no, and uh, you have here the distance of the stock pot from the, uh, from the, from the sink, no, uh, yung yung water niya na continuous flow dun sa sa second sink natin. Okay, that's how you cool down, no? The stock, at kasi alam naman natin, ang stock, mainit naman talaga yan. Kasi nga, uh, it, 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 you know, in, ano siya eh, pinapakulan mo siya ng matagal na panahon, ay matagal na oras. So tendency, kung ano yung temperatura ng apoy na nilalabas sa kalan, yun yung temperature, no? Ng loob ng stock pot natin. So para ma-cool down, okay, that is the one process, no? Uh, you use a running water, uh, no, on the side of your stock pot and continuous flow of the water. Okay, the second one is you, you get the basin. You get a basin and you put 
okay, the hot stop, no? Doon sa uh, basin na may yellow. No? So those are different techniques how to pull down your stocks. Okay, next we have here. Okay, we go tayo with the soup. Okay, we go tayo with the soup. What is a soup? No? Soup is a liquid food made with nutrients either from meat, fish, poultry, or vegetable. Yun daw yung pwedeng base, uh, base daw ng ating soup natin. No? A liquid food, okay, either thick or thin liquid, okay, made with nutrients, which is you need to have different vegetables, proteins on it to create a soup. Okay, now let's uh, have the tin soup. No? This tin soup, a.k.a. a clear soup, which is a soup made without a starch. We sabihin daw, ito daw yung soup na hindi ka gumagamit ng pangpalapot. Okay, which is later you will see the different starch uh, starch ingredients natin or how to make the soup thicken. No? And we have here the thick soup, which is a soup made with the starch it means that you are using a different starch product no to thicken your soup okay that is a uh, thick soup and we have here the specialty soup okay specialty soup are the soup okay uh gaining a special recognition usually linked to certain region okay or location in the state or a country. For example, ano ba yung mga special specialties? Like mommy, no? Bulalo. Ayan, Bulalo is uh, uh came from Batangas. I don't know if if that is the real history, no? Uh if Bulalo is came from Batangas, especially sa mga high highlands. Okay, places like in Tagaytay or in Cavite area. Okay, uh Bulalo are, are, are very familiar in their area or region because uh, using, uh, I mean, having their a cold temperature, they need a hot uh, food, which is uh, ang pinaka uh, specialty na doon is dang bulalo. Okay po, ma'am Marlene, Marlene Apple. Okay lang po yan. Okay, so that is uh, that is a specialty soup. Ano pa ba yung mga specialty, specialty soup natin na, ano, na, na kilala ninyo at alam ninyo? Ano pa ba? Mayroon pa ba kayong soup na kilala sa mga probinsya? Hello? Lomi. Ano yun, Paola? Lomi po. Lomi. Ayan, still it, 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 it came from Batangas, no? Batangas pa rin ang meron dyan. How about the other region? If someone has a uh, idea, meron pa ba? Nakalimutan ko yung soup sa ano sa Ilocos pero para siyang lasang ano lasang papaitan din siya pero hindi siya papaitan <laughs> pero medyo related to kasi they are using intestines also of a certain animal and then they they are they are they are preparing a uh, uh, a soup no a clear soup I, I forgot I forgot I forgot the the name Ayan, papaitan is an example also of a ano, as a kind of soup, but uh, papaitan is everywhere. Wala kang wala kang uh, lugar or place sa Pilipinas na nanggaling talaga ang papaitan. Kasi papaitan is everywhere. <laughs> Ayan, pero yung maganda yung ano, ang tinutukoy natin yung specialty soup because ang pagsabi ng specialty to specialty soup, ito yung soup na nakilala, yung certain region or places. Okay, either thick yan, either Thin yan, no? Pero itong pag sinabi mong ganitong klaseng soup na yan, galing yan dito, it is the best yan dito sa place na yan. Something like that. So that is example of specialty soup. And then we, all, we go tayo with the cold soup. No? Akala nyo mainit lang ang soup. Hindi. Meron, we can also serve a cold soup. Okay? So a raw cooked soup served chilled and highly seasoned. Ano ba example natin ng cold soup? No? Uh, pwede tayong gumamit ng broccoli soup. Ayan. They serve uh, cold, uh, this kind of soup. No? So before you serve the soup, you need to chill. Okay? And you need to uh, take a look that uh, that soup is uh, cold. No? Kasi kailangan cold yung soup na yan. But uh, when you taste that kind of soup that's cold, but it's, uh, the taste is savory. Savory pa rin yan, dapat. Okay? And the next one natin is the consomme. 
consomme is a perfect soup, rich flavor broth or stock that has been clarified. Okay, so how this consomme created? Okay, consomme, cre uh, consomme is being created out of the tin soup. Okay, so tin soup siya. But alam niyo naman sa tin soup kasi natin, kahit na strain mo yan, may mga mantika pa rin yan. Kagaya nung topic natin na nakaraan. No? We need to remove the oil using the filter like a uh, cheesecloth or kaya coffee filter. Pero merong isang technique para ma-absorb yung talagang oil at yung cloud Cleanliness, no, ng stock natin is we are using an egg white no, to create the consomme. Not just uh, removing the oil, but also clarify the stock and then the stock will be, uh, will, be, will, be, will be set on its color, which is the pale yellow. Okay, so dyan papasok yung ating uh, consomme. The next natin is the thick soup. Okay, ito na ngayon yung ating uh, klase ng mga thick soup natin. So we have here the cream soup. Okay, it means that we are using cream, okay, to thicken, okay, to thicken the soup. Okay, either we are using heavy cream, half cream, or full milk. Okay, ito yung mga full, full, uh, full uh, cream milk, okay, mga soup natin. Okay, kapag ganon, ang tawag dyan is cream soup. Okay. So we have here the puree. Okay, puree soup are this are soup are thickened by pureeing, no? The all ingredients into a soup like pumpkin, potato, okay, uh, soup. Okay, ito yung mga puree soup natin yan, yung squash soup. Example din yan ng puree, puree. Ibig sabihin, we are grinding, no? Uh, the very piece ingredients of the soup and let that ingredients thicken itself. Okay, kaya nakikreate yung puree. Okay, which is we will have that kind of sample, no? Sa ating, uh, sa ating kitchen. Okay, may creating of puree, which is the pumpkin or the squash soup. Or kaya po ito soup na gagawin natin. No? One by one natin yan pagdadaanan. Yes, Jeffrey? Jeffrey? Okay, then we have here the biscuit. Okay, this is a thickened cream soup uh, with a puree of the main ingredient, usually shellfish, such as lobster, shrimp, or crab. Okay, so mag may puree ka, let's say potato, so potato puree, and then you put what? Shellfish ingredients, shellfish, in not shellfish, shellfish ingredients, no? such as lobster or shrimp. And then you create the bisque. And we have here the chowder or the chowders our heart is so made with similar crisps. Jeffrey. I want to Jeffrey yung kanya ano. Hey, why is Jeffrey yung kanya cellphone at mami tao? Jeffrey, pasuyo ako na ano. Oh, di ba? Kumanta pa nga. <laughs> Jeffrey, yeah, thank you. Okay, so that is uh, that is the chowder, no? Uh, ang pagkakaiba lang natin ng best sa chowder kasi they are the same in the puree, no? Ito kasi may lasa na yung stocks na gagamitin mo and then you will just simply uh, thicken either by puree or a thickening agent natin. And that is the chowder, okay? Ang best natin is after the pureeing of a certain ingredients, you will put seafood on it. Okay? So that is a different thick soup na pwede natin i-present no? uh, during our training. And uh, alam ko may thickening agent to eh. Kaso na yung mga thickening agent ko? Nawala. Kasi we have different thickening agents. No? Ah, baka dito. Baka dito siya nakalagay. Ah, baka nandito sa, ano, sa sauces natin. Okay, so we go tayo with the sauces. No? Okay, so we have here the first sauce. Again, the sauce are created by Antoine Creme, okay, uh, which is discussed in the previous lecture. Natin, no? Antoine Creme is the uh, creator of a different sauces that we are using nowadays, which is the most familiar sauce na alam natin, na ginagamit natin pang araw-araw na pagluluto ay ang tomato sauce, which is galing siya kay Antoine Creme. Kay Antoine Creme. Okay, siyang nag-create ng sauce tomato or ng tomato sauce. 
Okay, now let's have uh, the different sauces or the five mother sauces na gagawin, hopefully, no? Ang usually ang magagawa lang natin dito is the, uh, ako, magiging honest na ako sa inyo kasi uh, there are certain, no, certain uh, ingredients that are limited to at the time of preparation. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, okay, na, na soup natin, no, sa, sa kusin natin is the bechamel, of course, kasi that is the base of... Uh, of the uh, 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 base yan ng ating uh, ah, yan ano, base natin ng carbonara that is the base yan. so gagawin natin yan carbonara morne okay gagawin natin yung base na yan okay and then we have here the velote or the chicken uh, chicken sauce okay out of the stock and we will thicken it and then we will create the velote and of course, the tomato sauce. We will create a tomato sauce out of the raw tomato na nabibili natin sa palengke, gagawa tayo ng sarili nating tomato sauce. No? So, yun yung mga challenges, yun yung mga kailangan, mga gagawin natin in the, in the, near, in the near future. As manual, kinda, we can use that no? when we are roasting a chicken and we get the extract of the, the jus. Okay, and then we are taken in by uh, roux. And then we can use, uh, we can create the Espanol. Depende. Tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging flow natin ng kusina-kusina natin para maka, maka, ano, makapag-create tayo ng ating sauce. No? Uh, ano yan, lalabas at lalabas na lang yan out of the training natin okay, sa ating kusina. Okay, again, we, we will define that the Espanol. Espanol is a kind of sauce that, uh, fa, ano yan? A mixture of brown sauce and a brown roux. Okay, brown sauce and a brown roux. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, how the Espanol being created. The Hollandaise, okay, Hollandaise sauce is a sauce created by an egg yolk. Okay, egg yolk plus acid and cooking in a double boiler. Okay, uh, process. That is the Hollandaise. And the second one is we have here the bechamel. Bechamel is created uh, through the, uh, the roux. Okay, roux ang base niya, which is the white roux. And then you put milk on it. Okay, and then you are now creating the bechamel. And when you, create, when you put a dash of nutmeg, you will create an Alfredo sauce. When you put a one cup or two cups of cheese, you'll create a Mornay. And then when you put a stock on it, and then we will now create the carbonara. Yun yung, ano, yun yung nanay ni carbonara, si bechamel. And then next we have here the velote. Velote is a kind of uh, uh, sauce no? made, out of, made up of uh, the chicken stock or the fish stock. And then you will take, uh, you can, you, you take in it by a blunt roux. Okay. Nabanggit ko kayo na yung mga roux. We have here the blonde roux, the white roux, and uh, the white roux, the blonde roux, and the chocolate roux. Okay, what is this? I uh, don't know. Bland, white, chocolate. Okay. Uh, let's start uh, with the blonde. No? Blonde is the first uh, cooking of roux. Uh, so it uh, took for about, it, it cooked for about one to two uh, minutes no, of cooking or mixing the butter and flour. So you will now create the bland roux. And then upon, upon burning or upon cooking of your roux, okay, lalabas doon yung natawag nating white roux. Okay, that is cooked for about three to four minutes. Okay, and then after that, of course, the flour are being burned. I mean, not burned. The flour are being cooked and turns into brown. And that, that's, how, that's how the chocolate or the brown roux Okay, are, I mean, uh, created. Okay, yun yung tatlong roux na ginagamit natin, which is the blunt, uh, sa brown roux ginagamit sa Espanyol. Ang white roux ginagamit natin sa, saan natin, saan natin ginagamit yung white roux? Sa bechamel. At yung velote ginagamit naman natin, ay ginaga, ang, ang blunt roux ginagamit naman natin sa velote. Hope na, sa hope na susundan ninyo, no? Kahit medyo nag, nag, ano, nag, uh, hindi ko alam po, nag ba siya sa akin sa term, yun, uh, whatever. Pero I hope you get the point kasi I, I giving a lot of terminologies and I'm giving a lot of cue okay, sa ating kusina. Uh, 
up on the screen as you can see the mother sauce pero ang dami ko nang binanggit kanina it's it's the ano no it's the it's the terminology and the vocabulary inside the kitchen which is uh kapag dumating yung uh, 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 hands on niyo no pag sinabi kong bechamel dapat alam niyo na kung paano create yan Siyempre, of course with my guidance para ma-create at matapos yun ng tama okay so and we have here the tom the tomato sauce okay tomato sauce is made out of uh, ripe tomatoes, okay? Iba-blanch natin si ripe tomatoes at tanggalin yung seed, at tanggalin yung skin, and then we will crush okay, the tomato, and then we will put basil and the pork stock or any stock, okay, na gagamitin natin, plus yung uh, ginagamit nating basil, okay? That is for the creating of tomato sauce, okay? That is uh, out of, no, out of uh, the tomato sauce. Yung tomato sauce na yan, kapag nilagyan mo ng ground beef yan, ang tawag dyan, Ano, uh, ano yun? Ayan, nakalimutan ko na yung tawag doon. Sobrang dami kong, dami kong nasabi kanina. Ay, nakalimutan ko yung ano. Nakalimutan ko yung tawag. Ginagamit natin ito sa ano. Ginagamit natin ito sa lasagna at saka sa ano. Sa, usually ginagamit natin ito sa ano. Sa pagluto ng spaghetti. Pasta. No, no, no po. Hindi pa, hindi pasta. Hindi pasta ang tawag doon. Uh, make sure siya ng tomato sauce plus the, the ground beef. Hot dog. No. <laughs> Hot dog is additional, additional ingredient yon, Paula. Additional ingredient. Let's... Tomato baker. Wait lang, wait lang ha. Tomato with... Nakalimutan ko ah. Ground beef. Anong tawag niya? Bolognese. Yun. Bolognese. Okay. Yung spell nun is bolog, Bolognese. Okay. Bolognese. Bolognese. But you pronounce it Bolognese. Bolognese. B-O-L-O-G-E-N-N. Ah. G-E-N-S-E. Okay. But you pronounce it Bolog, Bolognese. Okay, in the Spanish, no, I mean, it, in the Italian, Italian is you pronounce it Bolognese. But in the English term, you can uh, speak it Bolognese, 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 yeah. It's Bolognese, yan. Yan yun. Ayan yung ginagawa natin madalas, no? Pag nagluluto tayo ng tomato sauce, which is we are using the Mon Del Monte, and then we stir fry the ground beef kasi mas malasa yung baka, no? yung ground beef dun sa ating uh, tomato sauce, no? Uh, ang yung nagagawa yung ganung process ang tawag doon is bolognese. Yun yung yun, yun din yung base uh, na ginagamit natin no sa lasagna at baked macaroni. Yan yung ginagamit din nating sauce no, tomato with ground beef. Pero syempre dahil mahal ang baka, da, ma, mahal ang baka dati no, kaya nagga-ground pork lang tayo no. <laughs> ground pork lang ang gamit natin. Pero same pa rin ang process natin. Pero ngayon kasi Halos magkadikit na ang presyo ng baka sa kababoy. Kaya yung ibang tao, mas pinipili nila magbaka. Kasi nga, same lang din naman ng ano. Ng, almost the same lang din ng presyo. Okay, next na. Ayan. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Okay. So, Espanyol sauce is made from brown stock and brown roux. Ano yung mga derivatives niya? Bordelais, Diabé, Diab, 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 Leone, Picante. Okay, yan yung mga, ano natin, mga sauces na pwede nating magawa out of the brown sauce. I mean, Bordelais, Diable, Leone, Picante. Yan yung mga sauce na yan. Okay, so paggawa ng Bordelais is additional ng red wine and parsley. Paggawa ng Diable is additional of white wine and vinegar cayenne. Leone is additional of sauteed onions, butter, white wine, and vinegar. Picante is addition of shallots, white wine, vinegar, chopped jerkins, parsley, chervil, and tarragon. So, na yung mga sauces na makikreate out of Espanyol. The next one is the tomato or the sauce tomato is, how, is uh, made from stock of ham or pork. Tomato product classically thickened with roux. Okay, so we have, we can create a carriol. Okay, uh, and we have here the Portuguese, okay. And then we we I add kanina di ba yung uh, Bolognese or the Bolognese. Hollandaise, Hollandaise is a uh, create kri, uh, ano to no? Uh, sabi ko sa inyo kanina is a mixture of eggs, 
or let's say egg yolk, okay, egg yolk plus fats or oil. Para kang gumagawa ng mayonnaise, no? Pero ang pagkakaiba nito, niluto mo siya sa double boiler. Double broil, broil, double broiler pala. Ito yung, di ba, you have your pans, no? May tubig yan, tapos you will put a mixing bowl on top of it. Uh, na no, sa basic natin, sa paggawa ng broiler, broiling, no? So, example yon yung ta- yung process na yon okay? That's how we cook the hollandaise. When that's the basis of uh, preparing of egg dishes like egg benedict, we can create the hollandaise sauce. Okay, and then we have here the different derivatives. Okay, when you put a little bit of these ingredients, you will create a uh, sample at Bernay. Okay, additional of tra- tarragon, white wine, vinegar, and shallots. Malte, we have the additional of grated orange zest or orange juice. And the charon is additional of tomato. So yan yung example natin ng mga hollandaise, hollandaise, excuse me, hollandaise sauce. And we have here the bechamel. Okay, bechamel is a uh, created from cool milk and thickened with roux. Yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. And mga different derivatives niya is we have the cream. Okay, cream bechamel, which is you add, you add a cream on it. Uh, when you uh, cheddar cheese bechamel, which is the uh, uh, create the cheddar bechamel. Okay, additional cheddar cheese, which is the Mornay. Somehow Mornay. Okay, Mornay is uh, addition, addition, added, uh, oh, sorry, 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 adding of Parmesan cheese. And we have here the sobe. Okay, additional of pureed and cooked onions. Okay, so yan yung ating mga derivatives no, in preparation of bechamel. And the last one, I think so, tama ba? Last one na ba to? Okay, yes, we have here the velote. Velote is made from veal, chicken, fish, stock, chicken with blunt roux. And sinabi ko sa inyo kanina. Okay, and derivatives niya, we have here the alemande, abufera, and percy. Okay, so alemande is came from velote uh, additional of egg yolks. No, We can use that. Carla, nandito ka ba? Carla? Ah, nandito si Carla, nandiyan sa baba. Ah, mahina si Carla. Oh, okay na, okay na. Huwag ka na magsali. <laughs> Ayan. So, we can we can use the alemande, no? For fellow things. Sir. Also. Yes, sir. Nandito. Ayan. Thank you. Ayan. And we have here the al... Ayan. Uh, we we have simply add uh, egg yolks on it. No? Albufera is the ivory, which is uh, made from chicken velote, additional of cream, meat glaze and pimiento butter pimiento is uh, uh, having a bell pepper butter you know and we have here the percy which is from the fish bones no addition of white wine shallots butter and parsley probably no carla gagamitan ng albufera kasi chicken velote talaga siya yung chicken sauce natin out of the stock yun sa ano natin sa test package so we can create the albufera Okay, so next natin is the thickeners. Ah, oh, ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, yung mga thickening agent natin. Okay, so we have here the roux. Okay, pronounce natin roux. Pronounce roux. Roux. Yan, very good. Roux, not rocks, not rocks. Okay, it's roux. Okay, roux is a combination of equal portion of fats and flour, which is we are using butter, Uh, together with the flour, bakit butter yung madalas na ginagamit natin as a mixture of roux? Kasi ang butter kasi, it, it can add cream no? sa ating stock. At the same time, it will cover the taste and the smell of the flour. That's why we are using butter no? in creating of roux. Wala namang problema kung gagamitin naman natin is vegetable oil plus flour. Wala namang problema yan. Kaya lang kasi may lasang harina pa rin yung gagamitin natin thickening agent. Uh, so, madalas na ginagamit natin as thickening agent in preparation of roux is butter. Okay? Kasi kaya niyang i-cover yung lasa at amoy ng flour. That's why we are using sometimes butter or most of the time butter ang ginagamit natin sa paggawa ng roux. Okay? The next one is the slurry. Okay? Slurry is a typical mixture of water plus flour. Okay? Or water plus cornstarch. Water plus potato flour. Water plus our root. Okay, that's how you create the slurry. Ang inatawag natin slurry paste. No? Ang, uh, ang combination naman ng slurry paste natin, no? Are, ang combination niya, malilobat na pala ako, ang combination niya are uh, flour, 
Uh, ano, no, no, flour, cornstarch, or potato rice, or our root, plus, ano yun, equal portion siya, sorry. Equal portion. One is to one then. One part ng flour, one part ng uh, water. Okay? Water siya. Okay? Sa so, paggawa ng slurry natin. Okay? Water plus yung ating panghalo. Either cornstarch, potato, uh, potato flour, typical flour, which is the APF or all-purpose flour, and the, the R root. No? That's how you create the slurry. And the next we have here, the liaison. Okay, liaison is a mixture of egg yolk and cream, okay, to add the flavor and smoothness to a sauce. Okay, ito yung nagagamit kayo ng cream at egg yolk, no, sa pag-create ng ating sauce natin. Yun yung issues yung ginawa namin nila, Carla, sa paggawa ng stock, uh, ng soup namin is the liaison. Okay, that we are using an egg yolk and the cream, no, to thicken or to give the smoothness to a sauce. Tama, di ba, Carla? And we have here the Bermanier. Okay, Bermanier is a soft butter and flour knead together. Okay, ito ang, ang pagkakaiba ng Bermanier sa roux. Okay, ang roux kasi niluluto. You first melt the butter and then you add the flour. Ang Bermanier, no, it's different. Okay, you will just get a equal portion of butter and flour and then you need, you need, you need, you need together. K A uh, K N E E D. You need together, and then you create the Bermanier. The best example of Bermanier, if you are familiar with galapong, are you familiar with galapong? Ito yung ginagamit yes, sa so. ating halo, no? Yung yung galapong na yan ang isang best example ng pag uh, paggawa na or uh, best example ng Bermanier. Okay, kasi bibilugin mo yan, and then you will just simply drop, no, sa ating soup. Okay, sa ating sauce. Okay, and then it will thicken. Okay, yung stock or yung soup natin. So example yun, yung, yung galapong na yan. Pero since uh, we are not using the rice, now we are using butter plus flour. Okay, so yun yung mga different ayun natin, thickening agent natin. And then we have here the other sauces that we had. We have the kuli. Okay, kuli is a thick puree sauce such as tomato kuli. And uh, uh, raspberry kuli, and typically the main ingredients of the fruit and vegetable. Okay, ibig sabihin, ito yung gumagamit tayo ng puree. Puree, like tomato puree, pumpkin puree. And then we just simply add tomato, raspberry, and other vegetable no, to our uh, soup natin. And we have here the salsa. Okay, salsa is a cold mixture of sauces, which is a combination of herbs, which is the cilantro, no, spices, fruits and vegetables and we have here although they don't do not fit it, although they do not fit the traditions of sauces they add flavor moisture texture and color to the dish as well as the sauces do okay okay apple sige apple go lang yan okay and the end okay so yan yung ating uh, topic natin ng stocks soup and sauces so now let's me share my another screen Okay, second topic tayo ng ating... Uh, uh, yes, Paula. Ay, nasa labas ka, Paula. Ayan. So now, let, let me share my screen. Ano, nakikita pa ba? Okay, we will now proceed to another core competency, which is preparing an appetizer. Okay, so before we prepare the appetizer, no, let's have a different uh, kitchen tools, no, additional tools no, na meron tayo dito. We have here the rubber spatula uh, used to scrape off the contents of the bowl, bowl cutter to sharpen edge scoop for cutting or making of bowls of fruits or vegetable, channel knife, okay, uh, knife spatula used for hand tool for manipulating foods in making like spread or garnishing. Are they are the same with the zester na nakikita nyo may butas sa gilid, no? Pero uh, ang, can ang, canal knife, ang channel knife Okay, so talagang intended lang siya para makuha mo lang yung zest na buo. Okay, kasi ang zester kasi ginigrate mo yan. The next one is we have the war with the French knife, and the butter curler. And the next one, we have the kitchen tools na kailangan natin. The cutting board, of course. The kitchen sear, the, uh, which is the scissor. The potato masher, the chiller, and the oven. Kitchen tools and equipment. Okay, measure, uh, measuring spoons are used for measuring dry and liquid ingredients. Small quantity. 
Measuring cups are used to measure dry ingredients. They come in various sizes and the volume. Okay, so so and so forth. Okay, different safe work practices for kitchen equipment and tools. Lakas, ano pa natin? Lakayan pa natin. Okay. The cooking equipment are that we need is number one, we have the range top. Okay, range top, ito yung ginagamit natin paglulutuan, no? Ano yung mga tools and tools sa paggamit ng ating mga burners? Okay, number one is make sure that the gas pilot are lit before turning on the burners. Pag sinabing lit, naka-open. Okay, if burners do not light, no? Turn off the gas and allow the gas to ventilate before trying Okay, trying again and light the pilots or the burners. Okay, so kapag sa ating kasi wala tayong pilots, no? Uh, we are just using a long nose, uh, long nose uh, igniter, no? For a uh, alternative for the pilot kasi ang ating gamit sa kusina are burners. So meron naman siyang saliling igniter so that's why we don't need to use the pilots. Pilots are, are just uh, used in a uh, heavy duty uh, uh, stove, no? which is ito yung nakikita nyo parang hapoy lang na naka-steady na parang kandila. Pero hindi siya kandila, nasa bakal siya, no? na maliit lang siya doon sa katabi ng mismong stove natin. Okay? So we have here for the maximum heat, adjust the air intake. So, gas, the, so the gas flames are blue with the white on white a white tip okay blue white tip ibig sabihin you are creating a good heat no pero pag yung blue tapos nagiging dilaw ibig sabihin paubos na yung gas mo <laughs> okay next do not keep the flat tops ranges on high heats no unless the items are being cooked over them then damage the top okay top the tops could result, result to ayan ay sorry sorry do not keep uh, flat tops ranges on high heat unless items are being cooked over them. Damage to tops could this, uh, damage uh, tops could this. Ito yung mga pagsabi ng flat tops. Ito yung tinatawag nating ano, table. Okay, na pinaglalagyan ng mga burner natin. O kaya yung mga pantakip, no? Sa, ano, sa kalan natin. So, wag daw natin gamitin yun on high heat. Or kaya, ah, uh, uh, or else it will damage. Okay, ano pa ba yan? Sa oven natin, ito yung madalas natin no? sa nakikiusap po ko, sana wala pong mga aksidente sa atin sa paggamit ng oven kasi ang oven po natin are, are gas range. No? So, we are using that. So, please avoid uh, natin yung aksidente natin. No? So, how do we avoid accident in using the conventional ovens? The conventional ovens, these are the gas range na nasa ila, yung may guest just turuan ko kayo, no? Don't worry, tuturuan ko naman kayo paano gumamit ng oven. At kapag namatay yung oven, no? Alam niyo dapat yung gagawin niyo. Just simply uh, close the valve, no? Of the uh, the oven. Okay? Para mawala yung gas doon sa loob and then we will ignite it again. So, yan yung mga uh, ano lang natin, no? Uh, do's and don'ts lang natin sa mga ovens natin. Sa so, frying naman, Okay, sa paggamit ng mga frying natin, cooking tools natin, no? So, mga dos and dos natin. So, syempre, okay, do not, when filling the kettles, okay, with solid pots, set the thermostat for about 240 degree Fahrenheit and 120 degree Celsius until the fat has been melted and have to cover the heat elements. Keep, it, keep the kettles filled up to the fill line. Ibig sabihin, hanggang doon lang siya sa maximum fill line niya. For example, so sa so tayo pa ng gamit natin, so do not put more than no half doon sa ating sa pan when you are frying. Kasi, aapaw yan kapag nagpakulo ka na or nagprito ka na ng items mo. No? So, ganun. And make sure drain the valve is shut before adding the fat to the empty kettle. Okay, check the accuracy of the thermostat regularly by reading the fat temperature with the thermometer. Okay, para makuha nyo yung tamang temperatura sa pag-fry natin. Okay, ano pa ba yan? Okay na tayo dyan. Sa ating mga... Ah, ko ano lang, no? Sa paggamit ng ating ref at saka freezer natin, no? So, syempre, ando naman ako para magturo sa inyo ng kung gagamitin na ba yung ref o hindi gagamitin yung ref. Okay, yung mga freezer natin, no? Okay, next. So after the cleaning tools natin, we will go 
we will proceed to the information sheet. Uh, development of an appetizer. No? So number the learning objective is number one, is to know the history of appetizer and to know the different ranges of appetizer. Okay. Based on research, no? uh, to quaker ancestors. Okay, the history of appetizer are originally introduced by the Athenians as a buffet in early 3rd century BC. Pag BC, before Christ. They would serve the sea urchins, cockles, turgeons, and garlics no, as their appetizer. However, they were unpopular to start as these tiny meals. Weren't allowed followed up with the main courses, leaving everyone hungry and wanting more. Okay, so don't like start yung ating paggawa ng appetizer kasi the main goal of appetizer is to stimulate, no? Stimulate appetite. Okay, that uh, that your stomach are yearning, no? For more food. Yun ang purpose ng appetizer. That's why when you are preparing appetizer, the appetizer, the appetizer should be bite-sized. Maliliit lang. Okay, do not create an appetizer. No? Pag kumuha kayo sa kusina, no? huwag kayong gumawa ng appetizer na kasing laki ng palad din nyo. Pag ginawa niyo yan, sasampag. Joke, joke lang. Joke lang. Joke lang mo. <laughs> Di ba nagalit agad yung teacher? No? <laughs> hindi, joke lang po yun. No? You know, hindi, hindi ko i-allow sa inyo yun. Kasi nga, mababawilate natin, no? yung rules ng, ng training natin na makapag-create ng appetizer. Kasi ang appetizer natin, kailangan kasi is bite size. Okay? At the same time, it nakakapag-stimulate siya ng stomach, no? Uh, at nag-yearning o uh, nag-gugusto pa, nag-yearning uh, nag, uh, nga, no? Or nag, uh, nag-wanted, okay? For more, excuse me, for more dishes. And then, the aperitives came by the Romans. What are these aperitifs? Aperitifs, these are wines or liquors no, that uh, drink or serve before the courses of meal or before the, meal, before the main course or within the main course or after the main course. Okay, this the aperitifs happens. Aperitifs are utilized today typically the company of food appetizers. The word itself, appetizer, was being used in America and in England in, 16, in 80s, 18, 1860s and it's more of local flavor than a verb. Okay, the pronunciation, of course, the orbres is a verb. Pronounce, a verb. Hello? A verb. Oh, yeah, thank you po. A verb. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag, tinatawag na natin ngayong appetizer, hors d'oeuvre. What are these hors d'oeuvre? No, mamaya i-discuss natin. Okay. Oh, in the other hand, say that appetizer are dishes that can truly be recognized, no, Filipino, because we are best known using our hands to eat the small finger foods that came, that came from the first course, which is, ang appetizer naman talaga, it's finger food, no? Ano ba yung mga finger food natin? Like yung chicken fingers, fish fillet, ano, mga finger food yan, fries. Uh, those are appetizers that we can serve before the main course. Appetizers can include anything from the fish to meat, nuts, and chips. They are often served before dinner or a large family lunches. This, uh, okay, mise en place, the French term means set in place. Again, mise en place, not mise en place, no? You pronounce mise en place. Mise en place. Very good. Mise en place is a French word, which is in English term or translation means set in place or put everything in place or setting, set in place. Okay, put it together in place. Okay, so yun yung translation niya. But the near, the, the exact is set in place. So it's saying that you are preparing everything, no? Before you ignite the stove. Yun yung ginagawa nyo pag nagluluto kayo ng pagkain. Siyempre, pag nagluluto ka ng pagkain, bago mo sindihan yung kalan mo, no? Make sure nakapag-iwa ka ng bawang, sibuyas, at nahanda mo yung karne. Nalulutuin mo at yung mga sauces na kailangan mo. Yung practice na yun, ang tawag doon is mise en place. Okay, nakukuha nyo ba? 
Okay, Fatima. Sige. Okay, yun yung natawag natin mise en place. Yung, pag, yung pag-prepare nyo ng pagkain, ah, ng ingredients bago kayo magluto, ah, ang tawag doon is mise en place. So, pwede, mo, pwede nyo gamitin yan sa, ano nyo, sa tawag nito, sa sarili nyong uh, terminology or vocabulary, no? kapag nagpepresenta kayo ng meal ninyo, no? Ah, uh, ngayon o kaya mamaya o kaya bukas, no? I want to prepare mise en place. Pres- present present naman po link na attendance. Thank you po. Ayan. Ayan po. Okay. So, let's now define what are appetizers. Appetizers are food which stimulate the appetite. Throughout uh or through come on. Throughout, yeah. Throughout their attractive appearance, fragrance or appealing flavor It is a small piece of portion of highly seasoned food. Usually served before meal to induce and stimulate one's appetite. It gives a pre- appreciation to the food that we eat. So that is the appetizer or the main objective of appetizer is to stimulate appetite. Not just stimulating appetite, it should be attractive, fragrant, an appealing flavor it should be highly seasoned dish served before meal that is an appetizer okay so next we go tayo with the classifications of appetizer number one is cocktails okay cocktails are usually juice or orange of or pineapple or grape juice or tomato juice served with a cold salad And it may be, uh, may be in the form of fruit or vegetable juice mixed in the little alcoholic beverages or seafood like shrimp, crabs, or lobster served, okay, what? Served with slightly seasoned sauce. As you can see in the picture, you have the shrimp cocktail, no? which is the shrimp or uh, shell. Uh, the shell are being removed. The veins are being removed and it's cooked. And then it will be it, it put on the rim of the cocktail glass. Having inside the cocktail glass, you have the tomato sauce, which is the, the sauce for a cocktail. And then you have the lemon zest. No? So that's how you present the cocktail or this, the, the appetizer called the cocktails. But it's important. No? If you know that the, that the appetizer is a cocktail, appetizer, dapat may alcoholic. Beverages. Next is a derb. Der, oh der, der. <laughs> a derb refers to a small portion of highly seasoned food. It is a combination of canapé, which is later we begin at the meaning of canapé, olives, stuffed celery, pickled radish, and fish. It's served with an individual plate when the guests are seated. Sometimes it is simply placed on the platter and passed out within the table. Other are served either hot or cold. Okay, so we have here the different examples no, of other that we can use uh, in our canopy making. Barbecue spare ribs, shish kebab, dry, a deep fried chicken using the wings section, baked clams, oreganata, oysters and clam casino, Bold shrimp, scampi style, broiled scallops, fried breaded scallops, shrimp, oyster or clams, steamed mussels, cod cakes, ito yung mga fish cakes, fish tartes, ito yung mga fish tart, no? Chive, chive, chiviche, chiviche pala, chiviche, vegetable fritters, pag sabing fritters, ito yung frito, no? Many salads, pag sabi many salads is a combination of different greens or any other color salads. Quiche. Quiche. Cheese wafers and straws. Sushi. Glavax. Grava. Gravlax. Smoked salmon. Smart trout. Smoked duck. Pates and tarines. Gelatinized. Gal- uh, galatines, galantines. These are galant. These are gelatines. No, are are dish 
or appetizer made from gel gelatin. Ham mousse and fio grass mousse and terrine. Okay, terrines. Okay, those are kind of a term that we can use. Okay, so that the recipe are there also. Then we go tayo with example, another, another example of appetizer, which is antipasto, which is an Italian cuisine, particularly rich d'oeuvre or antipasti, as they call the singular form antipasto. Many books give the recipe from mixed salad called the antipasto. As you can see in the picture, para siyang, ano, para siyang crew, ano? Para siyang ano, ano yung tawag dun sa cheese serving? No, no, no. Antipasto is uh, using the ham, the dried ham, the cheese, the, the different uh, starch that we had, no? olives, no? cured hams, okay? mayonnaise, and cheese, and other breads no? okay? that serve in a uh, board. No? Ah, nakalimutan ko yung tawag dun sa yung... Naging, nauso to eh, nauso to last Christmas eh. Kasi diba we have a lot of uh, queso de bola, kaya lang hindi naman kinakain yung queso de bola kasi sobrang tigas at the same time. Wala naman talagang maingan yung queso de bola, ba't ba nakakuso yung queso de bola na yun tuwing Pasko? No? But this time, in the last Christmas, the last New Year that we had, no, nag-create nag, tayo, eh, nag, nag tayo ng cheese board. Tapos may mga maliliit na mga ham na nakasama or mga crackers no, together doon sa cheese board na yun. Nakalimutan ko yung tawag doon. May tawag doon eh. May tawag ka. Uh, so, kagaya ng cured meats, seafood items, cheeses, hard-cooked eggs, delicious, and mushrooms and other. Okay. Then we have here the bruschetta. Okay. The bruschetta. Bruschetta. Bruschetta pala. Bruschetta. Okay. Bruschetta. Brus bruschette. Brus brus bruschette. <laughs> Ayan. Bruschette. Okay. Bruschetta, bruschetta. Or these are kind of, sorry po. Other. Okay that has a Roman garlic okay, bread. Or it, it means that the bread is a garlic bread, simply as a garlic bread, then you are putting no, on top of it. So you can call it bruschetta or bruschetta. Bruschetta or bruschette. Ang tawag. Pero, pero pag singular, bruschetta. Pero pag plural, bruschette. Anyway, so yan yan. Then you 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 add uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil no, to drizzle and to make a shiny color to our bruschette. bruschette. Next is we have tapas. Of course, it's another type of hors d'oeuvre okay, that, uh, that you are using Spanish tapa. Of course, it came from beef meat. No? Uh, caviar canapé another uh, another odor that we had that we are using a fish egg okay fish egg caviar caviar is a fish egg <laughs> yung mga itlog ng isda yung di ba pag isang kain tayo ng ano no ng isda ng galunggong tas merong uh, itlog no ang tawag doon is caviar okay so we are using that so in our ano appetizer okay as a either as a fillings no or as a garnish ng ating canapé okay and we have here the most uh, expensive caviar that we are uh, using is came from a white beluga no white beluga is uh, very rare actually endangered species na siya kasi most of the people are using those uh, caviar kasi that is the ano yan mas malasa kasi yung kanyang caviar no at lasang dagat talaga yung makakain mo no but Definitely, but sadly, no, beluga are endangered. And uh, uh, for the others' knowledge or information, a gram of a uh, beluga caviar, it costs about $10,000. Okay? Per gram yun. Kaya kapag kumain ka ng ganyan, so alam mo na na mayaman ka talaga. Okay, next. We have here the amuse. Okay, Amuse bush. Okay, amuse bush. Okay, but not bush. It's a tiny appetizer so d'oeuvre offered with the compliments of the chef. Usually, it's more expensive to restaurants. Kasi, ang ano, ang amuse bush kasi are using, no, are you, are, are you are using a specific uh, canopy, which is from, from your own creation canopy, 
bread base okay that you are using a uh, uh, a molder no and you create the a kind of this dish no medyo mahirap kasi yan yung mish because it's the specialty of the chef okay so yun lang naman okay next we go to other, another classification of appetizers we have here the canapé canapé are made up of thin uh, thin slices of bread in different shapes whether it's a square a uh, circle or rectangle or triangle the bread the bread may be toast or toasted, sautéed in batter, or dipped in a well-seasoned mixture of eggs, cheese, fish, or meat, then deep fat fried, uh, and, and it is a finger food consisting three parts, the base, the spread or the toppings, and the last one is the garnish. And either they, they serve hot or cold, okay, canapé. Okay, so ang canapé natin are bread-based, no? Sometimes, pero ngayon kasi ang canapé hindi na siya bread-based. No? Pwede siyang cube, pwede, pwede siyang maging vegetable or meat-based. Okay? For example, nasa ilalim niya is yung uh, salami. No? Kaya ang base niya is cucumber. O no? okay, ang base niya is egg. Okay? Basta ang importante doon, okay, it is either uh, uh, sauteed, tossed, okay, and well-seasoned. Okay, next we go tayo with the delicious and crude, crudites. Crudites or crudites, whatever. But sorry, crudites. Delicious and crudites. These are vegetable cuts or sticks. Okay, arranged in a plate and you are using mayonnaise as their dressing. No, ng ating delicious. Sometimes delicious or crudites are uh, fermented. Okay, fermented like... Uh, okay, fermented. Okay, usually they 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 ano ano uh, ini imbak siya or fener ferment yan. Okay, ng uh, distilled water or whatever or some some somehow yung iba naman are fresh vegetable naman. Directly cut o syempre kailangan clean yung vegetable mo. Okay, next, another classification of appetizers, we have here the petit salad. It's a kind of a uh, salad pero petit. Pag sa petit, small. Okay, small portion of salad they are usually displayed and characteristic and found in the most of salad. Next is chips and dips. Ayan, yung mahilig tayo sa mga nachos. Ayan. Ayan, yan yung fish and dips natin. Isa kain siya ng appetizer. Okay? Our popular combination accompaniments to potato chips, crackers, and raw vegetables. Proper consistency in the preparation is important for many dips and it's, it must not be so thick then it cannot be scooped up without breaking the shape or crackers. Ang point niya is dapat hindi daw masyadong thick yung sauce mo para hindi mag-break yung chips. Dapat pag sinausaw niya yung chips, magigit lang siya doon no? sa, ano, sa chips na yun. Another appetizer natin yung fresh fruits and vegetables. No? Nagamit lang tayo ng skewers. Okay, and the other finger foods or variety of appetizers wherein it's only requirement that is you can keep it's very tiny or very, everything is small enough to be picked up by the fingers and eaten with a little mess. So that's the other, I know, other, other term natin. Okay, so we will proceed to the canapé. No? Kasi canapé naman talaga madal sa ginagamit natin sa preparation ng, kana, ng, ano, no, ng appetizer natin. So, sample siya ng cold appetizer and we need to perform a four different types of canapé no sa natin sa sa dish natin okay then canapé is a bite-sized open paste sandwich consists of tiny portion of food presented a base of bread toast or pastry easily handled or eaten the canapé consists of three parts number one is the base base is the uh, the the purpose of the base is to hold the spread and garnish like crackers, toast, or firm and give a pleasing texture and crispiness to the canapé. So we have example like bread cut house, toast cut house, crackers, melba toast, tiny unsweetened pastries, wells, tortilla chips, and cup biscuits and tiny biscuits. Those are the base of a canapé. And the second one is the spread. The place on the top of the base to garnish, to stick. With with filling, uh, without the without falling off or falling apart, no, yung dish natin. So ano yung mga spread na pinaling gamitin? Flavored butter, 
flavored cream cheese, meat or fish salad spread. Okay, nang kaya natin gamitin. And then the last one that we can use as a garnish, okay, or a toppings natin, is any food items or combination of items placed on top of the spread, which usually gives color, design, and texture, or flavor accent to the canopy. So we give you a different example, like in the vegetable pickles delicious. We have the radish, pickled onions, chutney, parley, parsley, tomatoes, pickles, olives, asparagus tips, cucumbers, slices, pimiento. We can use as a fish, like smoked salmon, smoked fish, yung pagsabing smoked fish yung tina pa, no? shrimp, caviar, shrimp, tuna flakes, and sardines or lobsters, and chunks of slices. We can use that in the fish. So meat naman natin, example na pwede natin gamitin sa canopy are turkey, turkey meats, ham, salami, roast beef, and chicken. And for a cheese, either we can use a hard cheese, a soft ripened cheese, and also a cooked egg slices. Okay, so yun lang naman yung ating mga kailangan no, sa paggawa ng ating canopy. So as you can see in the picture, we have here the, the picture, you know, how do you prepare okay, the different uh, dishes. The shrimp cocktail, lobster salad cocktail, the fruit cocktail, and we have here the salmon cocktail, crab meat cocktail, the cocktail meatballs. Okay, we go tayo with the kind of relishes. So these are raw vegetables or dips that are known as crudits, a crudite. Okay, cru in the French means raw. Common bite-sized scatro vegetables served with dips are we can use celery stem, radish, red and red bell pepper, zucchini, cucumber, cauliflower, broccoli flores. Ito yung broccoli na kita yung bulaklak no? Yung broccoli green na yan, that is flower. Hindi po yan, hindi po yan dahon, hindi po yan alam bulaklak yan. And broccoli stems. Broccoli stems are you also can can eat also no. Dips are accompaniment with raw vegetables, sometimes with potato chips and cracker. Any mixtures of spread can be used as a dips. Proper consistency is important, kasi para hindi either uh, dumikit agad yung dips mo doon sa mismong religious. Okay natin. Another pwede pa natin gamitin sa religious, yung mga pickled items. Just sabi ko sa inyo kanina. Okay, next natin, range of appetizers. Either appetizer can serve hot or cold. Siyempre, of course, kapag uh, hot or derb, it should be served okay, hot. And cold or derbs can serve cold. Okay, so mga kailangan natin uh, i-prepare pag gawa ng uh, canopy natin. Of course, the plate, the ingredients, the base. And of course, the other additives, no? like yung garnish or fillings, okay, ng ating uh, canapé natin. Next, the dips. We go tayo with different dips, no? Ano pwede natin gamitin dips? Okay, we have here the blue cheese dip. An example ng procedure at saka yung ingredients niya. Okay, we have here the hummus chicken pea dip. Okay, so yan yun. And we have here the example of guacamole. Guacamole is came from avocado. Ngayon napapanood ng avocado ha. Okay, you can uh, you can uh, buy or you can get you can create a guacamole dip using a avocado, onion, jalapeno, lemon juice, olive oil, salt and fresh tomato. And we have here the prosciutto melon balls. Example ito ng example ito ng appetizer. Okay, melon, lemon juice, and prosciutto ham. And we have here the rumaki. Rumaki. Rumaki is came from chicken livers. Okay, soy sauce, garlic, fresh ginger, water chestnut, and bacon. And we have here the kebab. Ay, sorry, satay pala. One of my favorite barbecue no? in Asian countries, usually uh, in Singapore, in China, and Malaysia, Indonesia. Ang tawag sa barbecue nila is satay. Sa atin, barbecue lang. Okay na tayo dyan. Pero sa kanila kasi satay ang tawag. Ang pinaka-favorite satay ko when I, uh, uh, I'm in Singapore was lamb. Lamb satay was my favorite. The chicken satay is medyo quiet yan kasi normal lang lasa niyan eh. Ang distinctive talaga yung beef at saka yung lamb satay. 
Okay, next we have, you know, you can, you can, you can browse, no, the, the new elements and you can see this uh, recipe and you can download it, no, para magawa nyo rin sa bahay. The devil eggs are most or commonly used in preparation of cold appetizers. Ayan na yung bruschetta, bruschetta, okay, bruschetta, ayan na yan. So we have here the French bread, garlic cloves, extra virgin coconut oil, ay, coconut oil tuloy, oil, salt, and pepper. Then we have here the dates. Okay, stuffed with gorgonzola. gorgonzola. Gorgonzola is a kind of cheese. Okay. Napakadali lang niyang gawin. So those are different examples. Na. And now let's proceed to the last part. Okay, of the appetizer natin is the presentation. So how do we present? No? How do we present the appetizer? Number one is to know the different techniques in presenting appetizer. The second was to know the different fundamentals of plating. The number one fundamentals of plating is balance. You should know how to balance the color, the shapes, the texture, and the flavor of the dish. Because hey, these are the different uh, strategies, you know, how to create a good balance you know, in the food prepar preparations. Anong-anong kulay yung magagamitin mo? Baka mamaya maging monotone yan. Anong shapes ang ilalabas mo? May bilog ba? May square ba? May, may rectangle ba? Anong texture ba? Ha, ano hard ba yan? Soft ba yan? Okay. At anong flavors? Baka naman okay ka sa color, sa shapes, sa texture. Baka naman hindi tumugma yung flavors niya. Hindi, hindi tutugma yung, hindi tumugma yung uh, lalagay. So dapat meron kayong, ano, meron kayong uh, balance. Okay, next is portion or size. Gaano karaming isa-serve mo? Marami ba? Kakaunti ba? At kung gaano kalaki yung paglalagyan mo ng, uh, ng pagkain mo? Kasi importante yan sa costing natin. Okay? Next is arrangement on the plane. Okay? So pag-arrange natin, man, we have different plating skills okay, that we can view no, in the YouTube. Okay? Para makita ninyo. Okay? May iba't ibang pagpagawa ng plating natin. Principles natin. Okay, principles in platter presentation of, ayan. So number one is three elements of buffet platter canopy. Number one is the centerpiece. The second one should be easy to handle. And the third one is the design. Okay, either parallel, papilog, uh, you're creating parallel, straight, diagonal, or circle line, whatever. So kailangan yan sa paggawa ng, ano, ng dishes ninyo. Okay, designing the platter, I say, so in when you're designing, you need to plan ahead. Isipin nyo sa utak ninyo, i-construct nyo sa isipan ninyo, anong klaseng design ang gagamitin ko? Do, anong, anong klaseng shape or uh, design ang lalabas sa plato ko? Dapat iniisip nyo na mabuti kasi that will give you an edge, no? How to uh, to execute no your presentation, Okay. Get moving into your design. Dapat may connections. Yung mga design na ilalagay mo. Mayroon bang istorya, kumbaga, ang tinutukay natin. Okay? Give your design a focal point. Pag sinabing focal point, that is the focus area okay, in your play. Okay? Siyempre, tama yung portion ninyo. Gaano, uh, dapat kung konti lang, konti lang. Okay? Uh, and make the garnish count. Usually, are we are using garnish add numbers okay like one three five seven actually maximum is a seven no maximum count so usually ginagamit natin sa pagpaplating natin is ano odd numbers okay madalang tayong gumagamit ng even kasi uh, ano eh uh, kapag nagkikray ka ng abstract kasi hindi dapat even pero kapag talagang gusto mo ng uh, projected na plating na talagang uh, plakado even ang gagamitin mo May sabihin, balance yun. Sa kaliwa, kabila, uh, sa kaliwa, kanan are the same inputs, the same measurement, the same numbers, the same count, everything. Okay? Okay, next is don't drone every plate in the sauce or gravy. Huwag mo daw, huwag mo daw, ano, uh, lulurin, no, sa sauce or gravy ang dish. Carla, kaya gaya ng ginawa nung kalaban natin. Okay? Wag daw siyang lunuren sa sauce kasi hindi siya tama. Okay, it may hide the color or the shapes, okay, of the dish. You may cover a part of it or band the sauce across the center. 
Okay, keep it simple. The simplicity is more attractive than complicated designs. Let the guests see the best side of everything. Every angle, okay, should be not overlap, overlapping in the size, the shape, okay, and the edges, okay, of or the, the, the distinctive of the dish that. Okay? So yun lang naman. And the best side is each, uh, uh, each side should be equal no, to uh, every places. So yun lang yung ating topic for today's video. <laughs> sa atin, so nakadalawa tayong topic, no, appetizer sa kasup, no. So and tomorrow, uh, on Monday, we will discuss, no, the the next core competency natin, no. Ang target natin by next week or the other week Okay, or makapag makapag na tayo, makapag actual na tayo. Syempre sa pag actual na 'yon, kasama kasabay noon ang uniform ninyo. Next week, kailangan pag nagpo-photo up tayo ay naka blue uniform na kayo or naka t-shirt na kayo ng Tesla kasi makikita 'yan sa ating uh, sa ating uh, video slides natin, no? So kailangan 'yan nakasuot na kayo. Okay, sa ating mga nakikinig sa ating recorded line natin, So uh, at least uh, next week no makapag-aaral na tayo. Kasi sabi ko kay Ma'am Fe, tomorrow makapag-distribute na ng t-shirt yung mga kumpleto na. Ay si Ma'am Analin pala. Kay Ma'am Analin, na kumpleto na yung kanilang uh, t-shirt, especially yung mga payment. Syempre pag hindi kumpleto yung payment ninyo, hindi maibibigay yung t-shirt ninyo. Okay? Uh, just si Ma'am Fe sa TWSP, TWSP si Ma'am Analin naman sa step, no? Pakikompleto na lang po yun yung mga payments para makapagsota tayo ng ating t-shirt. So, can I ask everyone to turn on their cameras to have a picture okay, of our uh, lectures natin. Photo ops muna tayo. No? Photo ops. Ayan. Mama Annaline, sot mo na ba yung t-shirt? Hindi pa. Oh, Mama Annaline, nakamute ka. Ay, ano po? Yung t-shirt, nasa iyo na ba yung t-shirt? Wala pa po, sir. Mm. Kailan, kailan natin may bibigay yung t-shirt, ma? Ano po? Uh, eight po siguro o nine? Uh, sa June 8 or nine? Apo. Okay, so kailangan ano ha? Kailangan maka, makapag-bar na tayo before the date para maisabay doon sa ating bulk order natin. Okay, can I ask everyone to smile? Okay, in three... 2, 1, saan po kukunin? Sa school, kukuha ninyo sa June 9 daw. June 9 daw. Okay, smile tayo in 3, 2, 1, smile. Isang panel lang tayo. Nakakalungkot naman. Nakakaisang panel lang tayo. Anyway, so yun lang naman. And thank you everyone. And hope to see you next week. Bye. I always remember you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Good night. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Bye, sir. Bye, Carla.